You know, Kalpatul Group has its origin uh, back in the 1969 when it was founded by Mr. Munot. So he started as a builder, started doing construction and then getting into real estate projects early on. And I think that gave him a lot of insights into the world of construction. So from there we've been expanding into other logical extensions. And it was only obvious that as the country grows, the power demand will grow itself as well. And that's when we decided in 1980s to get into power transmission. And then whilst we were planning our IPO in 1995 when we went public, in 1994 the name was rechristened to be the Kalpataru Power Transmission Limited. And that's how that came into being. Adding life to your big ambitions, Ultratech, India's number one cement. And from there, we've steadily been having milestones one after the other. Whilst we've been focusing on electrification and power and oil and gas and railways through KPTL, we've had the heavy civil work of metros, bridges, flyovers, tunneling through the JMC subsidiary of KPTL. We have six strong divisions which are independently led and are market leaders in their own rights. If you look at Kalpataru, the unique distinction is that this group ventured into contracting from being a developer. So as you are a developer, you are customer focused because you are providing an apartment. It's a very micro level decision for a homeowner. And I think that consumer insight and having you know, their delight as a foundation for the contracting business has helped us and that has been a differentiator. Contracting in India has evolved today from the time, uh, 50 years back in India there was license Raj. So if you wanted to import a crane, it took you probably a year just to get permissions and uh, it was just impossible to get that kind of capex in. Right? So the model from those days has moved from being an equipment and labor supplier today to more a engineering led construction environment right because we were doing projects for let's say 100 crore small ticket size now that projects are being give, awarded for 5000 and 10000 crores so your model has to evolve as well and i think we saw the need that we as a company have a very strong balance sheet today we are double a plus rated in the epc space we have very little debt we have a very conservative policy of accounting and we said we should leverage on these strengths and go overseas. So today if you see we are in 65 countries present and there is no other company in the EPC space in India which is present in 65 countries. So customer focus, delivery, execution, quality is at the core of what we do, right? And that's why we've been, when it comes to delivery and quality etc. in the EPC space, one of the best that's out there in the country.